So Mr. Sarthak, F part. Were you able to do the F part? Yes, sir. So x square minus 24x plus 144. What would be the product? Uh, the product will be 144. 144. What would be the sum? Uh, minus 10. So what are the two numbers that you have selected? Minus 12 and minus 12. I'm sorry? Minus 12 and minus 12. Minus 12 and minus 12. Okay. Yes, the sum is uh, minus 24. And when I have a product minus 12 into minus 12, the answer would be 144. So your two numbers are correct. That is absolutely fine. Okay. Now the next part would be that uh, minus 24x this middle term would be split it would be split like minus 12x minus 12x plus 144 mr sardak are we clear till here yes okay so what should i do next sardak Uh, it will uh, uh, become x minus 12 into x minus 12. So I will take x common from the first two terms. And then this x minus 12 has to be repeated here. Are we okay till here? Yes. Okay. What should I do next? Uh, we have to find the common term in the... Uh, so what should I write here? Minus 12. minus 12 into x is minus 12 x and minus 12 into minus 12 is 144 so this is absolutely correct what should i do next you have to find the com uh, common term but there is no common term it will be x minus 12. so now these are the two terms from which we have to find the common term so the common term would be x minus 12 and what is left is x minus 12. This can also be written as Sarthak x minus 12 whole square. Mr. Sarthak, are we clear till here? Yes. So this would be the final answer. Now why this topic is important? Actually this topic is very important because very soon uh, you will have questions like this. This polynomial algebraic expression would become an equation this would be an equation and then to find the roots of the equation to find the roots solution of this equation the same splitting the middle term would be used of course that will come in ninth class don't worry about it but this uh, topic splitting the middle term is useful in 8th 9th 10th 11th 12th also so that is why we will be doing a lot of practice. Okay. G. Were you able to do G? No. Okay. Now, this is a bit tricky. And I will tell you how it becomes tricky. It is splitting the middle term only. So if I have to find the product, the product would be the product. I will compare this with AX square plus BX plus c now my product if i just look at the numbers the coefficient my product should be 4 into 9 is equal to 36 mr sarthak are we clear yes the sum of the two numbers that i am looking for their sum is 12 mr sarthak are we clear till here yes now Sarthak, there are two ways in which you can find the two numbers that you are looking for. Now, one of the reasons that we need to do a lot of practice about these kind of questions is that finding the two numbers becomes difficult. Now, just select the 36, 36 and start finding the factors of 36 like this. So if one is one of the factor, the other would be 36. If 2 is a 1 factor, other would be 18. 
if 3 is one factor the other would be 12 if 4 is the one factor the other factor would be 9 if 6 is one of the factor the other factor would be 6 7 8 9 and 9 and 4 are selected so these are our these are the 1 2 3 4 5 pairs which might satisfy this condition mr sartak have you understood what i have said yes so this is one of the way in which you can find the two numbers so for example now if i want to check so the product of the two numbers should be 36 so in this case 1 into 36 is 36 so the first condition is satisfied but does it satisfy the second condition is the sum of these two numbers 12 mr sartak Mr. Sardak, have you understood the logic? Yes. Is the sum of 1 and 36 equal to 12? No, sir. So the, this pair is out. Can the sum of these two numbers be 12, Mr. Sardak? No, sir. Can the sum of these two numbers be 12? No, sir. So the only pair which satisfies both the condition, the conditions are that the product of 6 into 6 is 36, that is satisfied. Sum of the two numbers, 6 plus 6 is 12, again this is satisfied. Mr. Sardak, any doubt till here? No, sir. So the two numbers would be, the two numbers would be, This is how the middle term can be split. Mr. Sarthak, have you understood this trick? Yes, sir. Now, this is one of the trick. Now, there is another trick. See, you can choose any of these two. Both are okay. And I will, you know, use the same trick when I am solving uh, part H and I also. So that you understand how this trick works. So, the second trick is, that you always take the product 36 and you do a prime factorization of this so 218 219 3 3 and 3 1s mr sarthak have you understood what i have done yes sir now i have done prime factorization now using these numbers using these five numbers 2 2 3 3 1 i will try to make two numbers whose product is 36 and whose sum is 12 mr sardak have you understood yes so now because i know the answer already i know that 3 into 2 is 6 and 3 into 2 is 6 have you understood what i have done yes now you can use either of these two methods uh, method one makes more sense but you are free to choose any of the methods that you like mr sartak are we clear till here yes sir. so once we have done this then i have to find the common factor from this and a common factor from this any doubt mr sartak no sir okay so what should be the common factor from the first two terms uh, first will be x just look closely there would be a common factor among the coefficients also mr sarthak can you see the common factor two have you understood what i have said yes so 4x square 6xy so i have done i have taken the right common factor outside the common factor is 2x and then just repeat this 2x plus 3y would be repeated here in all these equations this is repeated here and all that you need to decide is what to write here what should i write here mr sarthak Plus 6. I'm sorry? Plus 6. 
प्लस प्लस थ्री में सुसार तक वाई थ्री टू द सिक्स एंड थ्री थ्री द नाइन बट देर इज अ वाई विच इज मिसिंग सो आई राइट थ्री वाई उसका सार तक इज इट मेकिंग सेंस और नॉट यस व्हाट शुड आई डू नेक्स्ट यू हैव टू फाइंड द कॉमन फैक्टर बिटवीन द टू टर्म्स सो इट विल बी टू टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई दिस विल ऑलवेज बी द कॉमन फैक्टर इफ दिस टर्म टू एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई वेन यू ट्राई टू राइट इट हेयर एंड इट डजेंट मेक एनी सेंस देन यू हैव डन सम some mistake that you have done but if you are you know on the right track 2x plus 3y 2x plus 3y would always come common and i am left with 2x plus 3y mr sarthak is it making sense yes and this can be written as 2x plus 3y whole square any doubt mr sarthak no sir so these are uh, bit tricky questions in which you know for example in h also what you will find is that uh, splitting the middle term and finding the two numbers which will split the middle term becomes a bit tricky and that is why we will have to use that you know alternate ways of finding the two terms which can split the मिडल टर्म ओके नाउ व्हाट शुड बी माय प्रोडक्ट मिस्टर सार्थक माइनस थ्री इंटू माइनस ट्वेल्व वुड बी माइनस थर्टी सिक्स व्हाट वुड बी द सम आर वी क्लियर टिल हेयर यस now again i'll have to focus on the product 36 and like what i did in g part for factors of i'll try to find the factors of 36 i'm writing 36 without the without the sign so the first would be again 1 and 36 2 and 12 3 टू एंड सिक्स टू एंड एटीन थ्री एंड ट्वेल्व फोर एंड नाइन सिक्स एंड सिक्स सर सार तक इज इट मेकिंग सेंस यस सर नाउ इफ यू लुक एट दीज पेयर्स इफ यू लुक एट दीज फाइव पेयर्स द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द नंबर इज थर्टी सिक्स दैट आई एम क्लियर वट आई वॉन्ट इज द सम शुड बी थर्टी फाइव Mr. Sarthak, is it making sense? Yes. Again, if you look closely, you would start suspecting that, you know, your answer might be with this pair. Mr. Sarthak, is it making sense? Yes. But all that you need to manage is the signs, and how will you manage the sign? You will write this as. Uh, because the sign is negative so i will make the pair as 1 comma minus 36 mr sarthak is it making sense yes sir now when i multiply 1 and minus 36 my product is minus 36 when i add 1 minus 36 my answer is uh, negative 35 so i'll have to make this minus and this plus mr sarthak is it making sense yes the product is minus 36 and when i add these plus 36 and minus 1 my answer is 35 sarthak any doubt till here no sir now in splitting the middle term this finding the two uh, if finding the pair of numbers that is finding the two numbers is always tricky in difficult sums this would be your main challenge the other steps are easy mr sarthak have you understood yes other steps are easy they are not much of a headache finding that these two terms these two terms is the main headache are we clear till here yes okay what should i do next 
uh, we'll find the common factor so that will be a sir common factor from the numbers also a is one of the common factor there is another common factor 3a 3a shabash very nice once you have reached this step now things are easy because this a plus 12 would be repeated here and what should i write here mr sardak minus yeah. minus 1 again the number the pair in the bracket would be repeated so a plus 12 a plus 12 is the common factor and i remain with 3a minus 1 mr sarthak is it okay yes so this is my final answer have you understood mr sarthak yes sir Okay, so what should be my product? Thirty-six. What should be the sum? Minus thirty. Because if I compare this with a x square plus b x plus c, the product is always a into c. The sum is. B, Mr. Sarthak, are we clear till here? Yes. Okay. So once I have reached this, again I'll have to find a pair of numbers. Are you able to do this question? Uh, it will be minus four plus minus nine. Minus four and minus nine. Minus nine. Great. So the two numbers that satisfy this condition. Are minus four and minus nine. Why? Because minus four into minus nine is thirty-six, and minus four minus nine is minus twenty. Mr. So Sarthak, are we clear till here? Yes. Great. And then the challenging part is uh, done with. Now we are just dealing with the easy part. So. I can write this as 3x square minus 4x minus 9x plus 12. Mr. Sarthak, is it correct? Yeah. Okay. And then I have to take common factor from here. What would be the common factor, Sarthak? Uh, x. X. Great. So this would be 3x minus 4. is it making sense yes sir just repeat this here just repeat it here now what should i write here mr sarth uh, minus 9 you should write minus 3 why minus 3 because minus 3 into 3 is minus 9 and minus 3 into minus 4 is 12 sarth can you doubt no Okay. Three x minus four. Three x minus four. Three x minus four is common, and I am left with x minus three. So this is my final answer. Mr. Sarthak, any doubt? No. So, Mr. Sarthak, see, we have done the questions from your uh, textbook. Now we'll do questions from. We'll do questions from another. Uh, another textbook. Can you see this file? Can you see two point two? Yes. So try to do. try to do question number 3 question number 2 question number 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर आई विल गिव यू अ हिंट दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज फाइव एम स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वेंटी टू एम माइनस फिफ्टीन माइनस फिफ्टीन इज इक्वल टू जीरो मिस्टर सार्थक हैव यू अंडरस्टैंड मिस्टर सार्थक हैव यू अंडरस्टैंड तो ट्राई टू डू वन टू थ्री फोर just try to do these four questions and then we'll discuss question number 5 and 6 also yeah you can start